Shalom. On to get this lesson by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who teach well. Much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in sincerity. And a hearty shalom to the believers out there who's believing on the words of Yahweh by Shah Shah. It's your brother Dawada coming to you with another quick lesson. Lord willing, is edifying. And uh, I know most of you have already seen the video of that explosion in Baruch. And they try and say it was fireworks. And I don't know any fireworks that can let off in an explosion of that magnitude. And once again, if you're spiritual and you're looking at this through spiritual lenses, you're viewing this as a warning from Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Okay? He said that out to be a warning for the hopeful elect, just to show you the devastation that is going to befall this place. Okay? Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh is not a man that he should lie. Matter of fact, let's get there first. This is Numbers chapter 23 and verse 19. The Most High is not a man that he should lie, neither the Son of Man that he should repent. Hath he said it, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? So Yahweh Bashar Shah has chosen, you know, burning and fire to to cleanse this place, okay? And um scriptures back that up. So let's get into the scriptures, alright? Let's go to the book of Malachi. Chapter four, and verse one. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh of hosts. Yeah, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, okay? That it shall leave them neither root nor branch. You see that? So the day is coming and it's going to be hot as an oven, man. All right. Let's go to Second Peter. All right. It's all over the scriptures. This is, you know, how he, he cleansed the earth by water the first time. Okay. He's going to do it by what? Thermonuclear fire this time. Two cleansing agents, water and fire. All right. Let's go to Second Peter 3. And let's start at verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Yeah, that when those bombs are set off, and I know brothers and sisters have seen that video, you know, I have it playing in the background, to where when it went out, it was a loud explosion. Now imagine a thermonuclear missile, right? It says, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Yeah, the elements, man. What's hot enough to melt the elements? Thermonuclear fire, okay? The earth also and the works that are, that are therein shall be burned up. See that? Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought ye to be? Salakia. Salakia for that. Now let's read this again. This is 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 11. Seeing then that these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Yeah. Get your spirit right, man. Because we see these things are going to be dissolved. We know the game plan that Yahweh Shah has set out. Verse 12. 
looking for and hastening. Yeah, we hastening. We wanted to speed up until the coming of the day of the, the Most High, wherein the heavens, being on fire, shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. See that? And that's what we're looking for, all right? We know that uh, scriptures tell us, matter of fact, let's go to Isaiah. All right? Isaiah 9 and verse 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise, and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with fire. So, like it once again, we're going to get through this lesson. It's always something. So, this is Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. In garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. You see that? Burning and fuel of fire, man. All right? And this is uh, talking about the battle of Armageddon, okay? Uh, the battle is going to usher in the kingdom of heaven, okay? Because when World War Three is going on, Yahweh is going to come back in those chariots, all right? Uh, sending out laser beams zapping all these people, right? And liberating the elect of the children of Israel. All right? Let's stay in Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah 34 and verse 4. It says, And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. And all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth from the vine and as a falling fig from the from the tree, right? It's like a falling fig, falling fig from the fig tree, Salakia. So you how about Shah Shah's what? It has a sore judgment, all right, placed on Idumia. Verse 5. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia, yes, the Greek way of saying Edom, and upon the people of my curse to judgment. See that? So Yahweh Shah is going to send those thermonuclear missiles, and they're not going to miss. Matter of fact, let's go to Jeremiah. They're going to do what he sent them out to accomplish. This is Jeremiah chapter 50. And verse 29, call together the archers against Babylon. Yeah, this Babylon is mystery Babylon, a.k.a. America. All ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about. Let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work, according to all that she have done. Do unto her, for she have been proud against the Lord, Yahweh Bashan Yahweh against the Holy One of Israel. Yeah, the most proud, Esau Edom. Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets, and all her men of war shall be cut off in that day, saith the Lord. Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud. You see that? Saith the Lord, power of hosts. For thy day is come, the time that I will visit thee. Yeah. And how about y'all shot is going to make inquisition of these devils, man. And the most proud shall be, shall like it. And the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall rise up. And I will kindle a fire in his cities. And it shall devour all round about him. You see that? So this is the righteous indignation that Yahweh Shah Shah has that he's going to render upon these people. Let's go to Zechariah. Why? Because of the, the elect of the children of Israel. Okay? Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 12. 
And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashan, Rashad, will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. You see that? Like Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. You see that? So what's hot enough to do that? What's hot enough to melt the elements? To have your flesh consume off your body while you're standing on your feet. Those thermonuclear missiles, man. Why? Because of Zion, man. Because of the children of Israel. Okay? Let's go to Zephaniah. Chapter 3. And verse, and why we go to Zechariah? I could have sworn I hit Zephaniah. Zephaniah, chapter 3, and verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. You see that? So you how about Shah Shah is gonna take these devils out, man. It's gonna be a beautiful work. Okay? Let's go to Revelation. And, and that was just an example to show you the power of Yahweh by Shah Shah. Shall evil be done in the city and the Lord have not done it? Right? Revelation chapter 6 and verse 14. And the heavens departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. Yeah, that mushroom cloud. And every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every female hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. Yeah, they're going to be in those uh, deep underground military bases, right? Dumb, as it were, because they believe that's going to uh, save them for the wrath of the Lamb, right? Verse 16, and said to the mountains and the rocks, fall on us. And hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. Yeah. Once again, when those thermonuclear missiles go off, Yahweh Shai is coming back in those chariots, right? Zapping people and liberating and, and, and saving the elect of the children of Israel. Okay? Let's go to Joel. Joel chapter 3. Chapter 3 and verse 1. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, yeah, taking us out of captivity, okay? I will also gather all nations. And will bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Yeah, the valley of decision. And will plead with them for my people and my heritage Israel. You see that? And it's not going to be any, any begging. It's going to be straight death and destruction. Okay? Whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. Okay? And let's jump down to verse 19. So you have by Shah is gathering all these nations. Why? So he can destroy. Okay. Verse 19. Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness. So why you have Egypt and Edom in the same breath? Well, this is Egypt all over again. We're in the land of our captivity, right? Pursuing the what? The curses. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Okay, you know, sold into slavery on ships. All right. Let's read this again. Joel 3 and 19. Egypt shall be a desolation and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness. 
Why? For the violence against the children of Judah because they have shed innocent blood in their land. Yeah, man. The controversy of Zion. So Yahweh Shashah is going to come back and destroy this place, man. All right. This is the portion for the wicked. Okay. Let's go to Ecclesiasticus or Sarat at the Apocrypha, chapter 21 and verse 9. For the congregation of the wicked is like toe wrapped together, and the end of them is a flame of fire to destroy them. You see that? So the end of this wicked queendom. Esau, Edom, Babylon the Great is going to be with burning and fuel of fire, those thermonuclear missiles, and those chariots with those laser beams. All right? That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, it's been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in sincerity and a hearty shalom. To the believers out there who's believing on the words of Yahweh by Shah Shah, called to be saints. Lord willing, coming at you with another lesson. To the next time I say Shalom.